Okay, my next guest has been in this a couple of times. Here's a very, uh, very talented and charming actress. She's just received, as I mentioned earlier, her fourth Emmy nomination for her work in St. Elsewhere, which is a fine show and happens to be on NBC at 10 o'clock. Would you welcome, please, Christina Pickles. Nice to see you again. Thank you. It's nice and to And how's you. everything in your life? Well, terrific. Uh, Johnny, I, I don't want to embarrass you. Oh, well. <laughs> I know you're shy yes. underneath it all. Well, that's and, true. And I know that you get embarrassed when people compliment you, but I do want to say that the other evening when you interviewed that old 104-year-old lady, yes. you were absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you. That's very And nice I think you're you. wonderful with old ladies. Well, thank you. I mean, you're wonderful with young ladies, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wonderful with old ladies and young ladies, oh. too. Well, that's very nice. Sweet of you to say that. No, it's true. She was a charming lady. Yeah. yeah. yeah I like elderly people. You know why? They say what's on their mind. They have nothing to prove. They don't have to be diplomatic. They don't have to say, I'm going to please you. They just say what's on their mind and let yeah. it rip. Yeah, right. Now, right. we've talked before. Last time you were here, you were reading all of these, I guess you'd call them, what, self-help books? How to improve your, how to yeah. be your own best friend, how to get along with people, yeah. how to do all of that. Yeah. Are you still at that? Or? Uh, well, no, I was forced briefly back into the market by a, a state of deep grief. Oh. Yes. Uh, it was tough. But a friend of mine said, you know, put it all aside and just go and read this one particular book. So I gathered up all my courage and I went into the store. I didn't really want to say the title because it was so revealing because it, uh, when you hear it, you'll know where my head was at, yeah. as they say. And uh, I... I went up to the counter and I whispered to the girl, do you have a copy of How to Survive the Loss of a Love? And she said, we're out of it. <laughs> yeah, which didn't help your condition. It was, uh, it was not easy. Did I you think... read the book or did you get it? Well, I did, but you know what? What? The jargon really gets to me. You know what I mean? They use things like um, emotional dependency and role model. Mm -hmm. I think I like the old-fashioned words better, like hate, rage, jealousy, fear, and anger. Yeah, just say what it is. I mean, if it's a role, someone said to me, oh, she'd be a wonderful role model for you. And what they really mean is go out and copy everything she does. That's Why don't right. they say that? So you gave up on the books, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. But you yeah. had a little analysis for a while, you said. Yeah. Did that uh, help it at all? Help? Yeah. Was the hardest thing I've ever... Well, no, I mean, after hearing that wonderful man and going across the... I mean, the, everything I say aren't sounds you an silly. Aren't you an adventurous spirit? Adventurous? I've never been on a ride in Disneyland. No. Oh. <laughs> really? No. I haven't. I think analysis is a little bit like going on a ride in Disneyland. It's very hard and frightening. Yeah. But I had to do it because, well, I had an English mother, you know, so... You know I would guess peculiar, from the accent, yes. <laughs> you know how peculiar English people are. They're so strange. Well, I, I wasn't going to say that. I, I, I spent some time in England. I like England, but for people who share a common language, we have a lot of differences. Boy, do we ever. And, and I, now having lived here for so many years, have a lot of differences with my family. Oh? But I always did, you know. I had a very quick first marriage. Oh. And then I went, that was in England. Mm -hmm. Big white wedding, the whole family. Then I came back and lived here for a while and I hated it all. So I got rid of that one and married Victor. And I went... Victor's your current? Yeah, the one from whom I'm amicably separated. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And then... <laughs> I went back to England with, with Victor, and my little niece said, uh, Uncle Bill, what? Victor looked, and he said, didn't you tell them? And I said to my sister, didn't you tell? She said, oh, well, yes, but you know, it's all so terribly difficult, isn't it? She thought you, she was your first Yes, husband. she hadn't explained that I was divorced because they didn't want to deal with it because they deny it because they can't stand reality. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, you're one of three... Or you have three sisters? Or? I have three sisters, yes, yeah. and a mother. Well, yes, you mentioned her. Yeah. <laughs> do you get along with your mother? Do I? Are you kidding? No. I, she, yeah, now I do because she's a wonderful old lady, but I had a rocky history. She used to say things to me that absolutely kill me. I mean, two things before I left the house. Pay your own way and don't overstay your welcome, which oh, basically no, means leave before you're boring, so, which is why I hope you never do this. Yeah. Me, because I know you're bored when you put your chin in your hands. But you haven't done it to me, so... <laughs> really? <laughs> well, no, who told you that? That's not true. It's just a habit. Maybe it's a, a, a habit I'm not even conscious of. I don't know. I just... I'm terrified of boring you. But, I mean, I'm so afraid of boring people. I, I Are you think, insecure? Uh, just a little. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I have been known to get up early off the analyst's couch before my time is up. I'm so afraid of boring people. 
You're really insecure, aren't you? Well, don't you Shy. think that actors are? Yeah, and that's probably why they hide behind. You find it easier to be on, play a role than to be yourself. Sure, sure. And I'm really overawed by, by regular, well, he's not regular, but that man who got in that little tiny boat thing and yeah. went off. That's Don't hard. you? What would you like to do that you haven't done? Have you ever thought of saying, "I would want to go have a great adventure before you cash in"? Well, I'd like to be brave enough to get on a ride at Disneyland. That's <laughs> that's your supreme goal in life. <laughs> yeah. How about marriage again? Marriage? Excuse, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Now you said to me last time, "Never say never." That's right. And now I know why you said that. Well, yes, I'm trying again. Mm. But how about you? No, I don't think so. Really? No. Well, Not this week. But when you, but you get older, don't you want a companion to, to go out and walk down the trail and go through the forest and walk hand in hand into the sunset? Well, yes, I Stuff do. Stuff like that. But do I have to get married for that? I never thought of that. <laughs> Of course you don't. Of course you don't. You can have a companion and go through the forest and over the hearth or over, over the hearth. Not over the hearth. What am I thinking of? What you do in Scotland? Over the, over the heath. Over the hearth, it'd be very hot. Where are you going? We're going over the hearth. No, over the heath. So uh, you hope you win an Emmy? Does it mean anything to you? Yeah, I think it would be very nice. It, uh, you know, it's been, this will be my fourth time of sitting there and watching everybody else leap up and get it. And I sit and sort of well, they take a picture of the, They always take a picture of the losers while they try to fake, oh. you know, good natures, oh. being very yeah. sporting about it. And yeah. you really want to kill, don't kill. you? Yeah. I would always like to see that. Have the other nominees get up and beat the other one senseless. <laughs> right on the stage. That's a terrific Sorry, Paula, beat him to death. We'll be right back. It's nice to see you again. I'm telling you. Anyway, I wish you well uh, with, with your Emmy nomination. It'd be nice to see you up there. Thank you. But, is it, but as they always say, just being nominated among my peers is important enough. No, it's not. <laughs> you want to beat them. So good luck anyway. Thank and you. And come back and see us soon, will you? Thank you. I'd love to. Uh, tomorrow night, Lauren Bacall will be here. Uh, Victoria Jackson of Saturday Night Live and The Temptations. What? No, I, they don't do what do I do. Who does it do? Do I do I? What? Good night. <laughs>